So I'm here in Memphis, Tennessee on BB King Boulevard, not too far from downtown. And I gotta tell you, when I pulled up, the first thing I thought is, this is like strange brew. I mean, here's this gigantic beer brewing factory, and this thing is huge. And I hear inside, they got a little pizza joint that is scratch making just about everything. I'm hungry and I want a beer. This is Little Betty at Wiseacre Brewing. Got a skinny Chicago up for Sandy. This is yes. a special place in Memphis. Way above par than you'd expect, especially at a brewery. Got kimchi hush puppies, pretzel nugs. What makes the menu different? I mean, they're definitely not afraid to play around. And the game that brothers Kellen and Dave and Bartosz are playing along with Chef Jared Riddle is go big or go home. This is gigantic. This one opened March of 2020. Jared's been here for a couple of years now, making amazing food. How many different beers are you making? We try to keep 25-ish on tap here. We use our beer wart in our pizza dough. That's a kind of a unique thing that we bring to the table. All right, what are we gonna make today? The Thud Butt Pizza and the, the what? Thud Butt. You are some weird <laughs> dudes. <laughs> thud Butt up. It's a mortadella with a ricotta base, crushed pistachio, black pepper honey, stracciatella cheese. In your world, what makes great pizza? If you don't have good dough, you don't have good pizza. Start it with our poolish. Room temp water, bloom the yeast, high gluten flour. We'll let that rest for 12 hours. Well, now we're gonna make our pizza dough. We're gonna start with water, and we're gonna add beer wort and ice. What is wort? It's like a sugar water that feeds the yeast, okay. and that, then that produces the alcohol in Got beer. Got it, got it. Olive oil, and here's our poolish that we made. Then three flours, double O flour, AP flour, and we've got a high gluten bread flour and salt. Proof it, let it rest. For about an hour before we portion it. Ideally, you're using it about three days after that. All right, what are we into now, Chef? Ricotta cream, it's the base for the thud butt. Ricotta, roasted garlic. S&P. Mix it up. And a little heavy cream. It won't quite all fit, so I'm gonna finish it in the bowl. Add more heavy cream. Now we're gonna make our stracciatella cheese. So we're gonna get some hot water and some cheese curd and burn our hand. Well, he's gonna burn his hands. Working this till we get some nice strands, and then we're gonna ball it up. Now it'll tighten up. So now we're gonna kind of break this off. He's dancing while he's doing this. Yeah. Did you notice that? He's got a little knee bend going. Mix it with heavy cream and salt. And a little bit of salt. And then let that sit up. Now we're gonna make our pistachio crunch. Pistachios? They're toasted first, brown butter solids. I don't know this. They're good on ice cream even. Huh. Butter and uh, milk powder. Crazy. Really good. And a little lemon zest. That's awesome. That on some yogurt? Well, we've had pistachio ice cream a couple times. You guys make ice cream too? Well, it's soft, sir. They're gonna make a beer out of it next. All right, let's build this pie. Extract the pizza now. Boy, that is some gentle dough. Super tacky. You guys roll these out by hand every time. <laughs> Flippy dippy, hippy arm swinger. And then this is the ricotta cream here. Got it. Mozzarella cheese. Mortadella. You don't see that on pizza enough. Just a little cheese on top to hold that mortadella down. Should probably just do a small testing of the mortadella just to make sure that it's <laughs> fresh. You want to look good on TV? You always feed the camera. <laughs> there you go. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Off we go. What temp are we run in that oven at? 550, roughly 10 minutes. Well, let's finish this pizza off. I'm gonna cut it first. So this is our stracciatella, a healthy dollop. The funky crunch, that's gotta be one of my favorite parts of this. I hit it with some pecorino and some black pepper honey. And this is when it gets really weird. Yeah. How do we make that? Toast some uh, black peppercorns, mix that in with our honey. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's weird. The dough is legit. The saltiness of the mortadella, the ricotta, nice and creamy, but not too much. But once you get to this crumble of pistachios, that's where it gets crazy. Everything's fine. And what do you do? You drop the hammer and take me to black pepper honey. Bro, it's a different yeah. dimension of pizza. The only thing this pizza could be is this trippy. Dynamite pie. All right, guys, we got a thud butt pizza coming up. You've got the crunchy and the cheesy. The crust is my favorite part. The way that they do the crust. It's a great chew, but not super heavy. Perfect. And with that cheese in the middle and being able to spread it around. It's not regular pizza, it's a thud butt. <laughs> the name alone. And being able to pair it with some of the best beer in the country is really exciting as well. Dropping these wings. You come here for the food or the beer? Um, both. The more beers you drink, the more wings you can eat. The wings are big here in Memphis and these are some of the best. Playing the Imagine the Future Wings. Imagine the Future Wings here have their sort of own flavor profile that's different with the capers and the olives and the dill aioli. You told me that we were making wings. Imagine the future. That's the name of the wings. Yeah. What are you gonna do to this? Now we're gonna make our simple salt water brine. Brine these wings for how long? 24 hours. Okay. Pull them out of the brine and par blanch them. Okay. This is our wing sauce. Worcestershire going in first. Pepper vinegar, Calabrian chilies, honey, chili sauce. Way to start it on 100. Buffalo sauce to add to it and that'll be done. 
That's sauce gone wild. I like the sweet, I like the heat, I like the tang. Uh, what's next? Sicilian crunch. We got our capers here. And yeah. Calamon and olives. We're gonna put in the food dehydrator. We're gonna blitz them up together in a spice grinder. And where are they going? Top of the wings. Top of the wings. In the future. All right, this is our dill hole aioli. Well, we're gonna start with mayonnaise. We're gonna add some uh, creme fraiche. Again, a little bit of a dance. You gotta get up to get down. Minced dill, some green onion, brunoise celery. Ooh. Yeah. You know, you can brunoise a mirepoix, but you can't mirepoix a brunoise. I like the joke, I don't know. It might not be funny. Okay, yeah, it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> then we're just gonna blend this all up. This would only get better with a little bit of time on it. Oh, yeah. All right, so this is done. Wing sauce is done. Wings are ready. All right, we're gonna sauce them up. Put them on a plate, and then we hit it with the crunch. This wing is so outside of the ordinary. The briny crunch and funk on top of this brined wing, which is nice and juicy and plump, with a little bit of the wango tango spicy sweet honey sauce combo package stuff. Yeah. That dill. I'm not getting you. This yeah. could cure all ailments. Let <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Crazy take care of you. And imagine the future wings. I never would have put all of those flavors together with dill and olives and then the spiciness from the wings. How did you get up with the wings all by yourself? Did you steal them from her? That's exactly what happened. Well, at least he's being honest about it. I've got the Sicilian crunch coming. What do you think? Very good. He's a cyclist. And you race, I take it? I do race. And you eat pizza and drink beer? Every day. I gotta start cycling. <laughs> got a charcuterie plate. You can't beat it, it's awesome. I don't know what I get more kick out of. The crazy place that you're in, the unique food that you make, or the character that you are. <laughs> but the combo of them together yeah. really makes this an experience. <laughs> you are awesome.